All right, welcome to another Tech Talk Tuesday, and today I'm super excited to announce this new series of videos within my Tech Talk Tuesdays that are gonna cover modernizing your classic Mopar. Now, this is something I'd alluded to uh, last week when I did, pulled the dash out of my Challenger and started tearing it apart. Uh, we're gonna start there. There's gonna be some changes that we're gonna be doing in future Tech Talk Tuesdays on the dash, so keep an eye out for those. And what we're doing is, Right now, it's really popular. It's called the resto mod craze. If you're not aware, what they do is they take classic muscle cars and they modernize them with all updated suspension, drivetrains, interiors, all kinds of things like that. Often wild paint jobs and stuff, and that way it makes the classic car look, but you get the all the modern creature comforts of a modern car. And it's really a great trend. And there's a lot of great cars coming out of that. And it's something I've wrestled with on where the direction I want to take my Challenger. And so now, after all of these years, there are a bunch of products out there that will allow me to modernize the classic Challenger, but at the same time, retain the look and soul and character of it being a classic muscle car. So what I mean by that is a lot of times with like your resto mods, whether it be GM, Ford, or Mopar, like your GMs, your Camaros, you do like an LS swap, or your Mustangs, a Coyote swap, or your Mopars, you'll be doing like a Gen 3 Hemi swap or a Hellcat swap. And that's all great. I know those new engines are super reliable, make insane power, but it definitely changes the feel of the car. And that's not something I want to do because I mean, we've got the modern car. We've got my wife's 2016 Scat Pack Charger with the 392. I don't need two modern type cars. So what we're going to do on the Challenger is we're going to be upgrading things like fuel injection, overdrive transmissions, uh, air conditioning, power windows, and then um, improved sound deadening. Uh, just uh, and then also we're gonna be upgrading the brakes suspension a wide variety of things that are mostly bolt-on Components so that if you wanted to return a car back to stock you could but at the same time You're upgrading these things to make it a little nicer a little more refined for your long drives because like where we're at now Most of the time for a classic car event. It's gonna be a two-hour drive to get there and so having some of the modern amenities like fuel injection, overdrive, air conditioning, definitely make it a lot nicer for those drives to get to that starting point of the event. Cause like right now, I've got a 391 Sure Grip Pumpkin that I'm just itching to put in this car, which is great for around town, but if I wanna go and take it on a long haul, it's definitely not the most ideal set of gears to be running. I at freeway speeds, I'll be pulling like 4,000 RPM. I've done it in the past, which has been okay when I'm just have like 10, 15 minutes on the highway, but if you've got an hour and a half on the highway, that 4,000 RPMs is definitely not ideal. And so putting in an overdrive is a great way to go. So of course we're gonna be doing this systematically, we're gonna do these updates, and we're starting with the interior and we're starting with the dash. So keep an eye out on those, but what we've already done, we have started this process a few years ago by on some of the suspension components, and so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And that's uh, starting with shocks. I mean, one of the biggest areas you can improve on your car is gonna be upgrading the shocks on them. And so a few years ago, I went ahead and installed a set of race car dynamics, Bilstein muscle car shocks onto this Challenger. And what can I say? It made a huge difference on the way the car rode and handled, and it was worth every penny. Now, I don't know what they retail for right now, but uh, at the time when I got them, they were about 425 I think it was for the set, um, which definitely isn't super cheap, but at the same time, it's a lot cheaper than several thousand dollars for a set of like high-end coilovers. Granted, you're pretty limited on trying to put like coilovers on these cars anyways, without doing a lot of suspension upgrades that are really expensive. But there are several shock options out there now, like QA1, I believe they offer shocks for these cars and stuff. And so they're a great way to improve the handling and ride of the car without really breaking the bank or having to start cutting into the car. And they were literally bolt-in replacement, just went right into the locations of the stock uh, shocks. So that was really, really nice. Now in the future for the suspension, we've got some other stuff in the works, looking on control arm upgrades, as well as bushing upgrades and things like that, sway bars. Because right now I'm running a front and rear factory sway bar, and then um, you can also increase the size of the torsion bars on the front. We'll probably look at doing that. 
I'm running Mopar Performance Hemi leaf springs on the back. Uh, we may change those out later, but I, with uh, something from like Espo Springs, so that way you can get the ride height that you want, but at the same time, you can change the spring rates on, the, on those springs. So we'll see how that progresses in the future videos. But for now, that's today's video. I hope you found this information useful. I hope you're excited as I am to see what we go through on this car in future videos on how we're modernizing it, but retaining the stock classic feel of the muscle car era. So if you liked today's video, of course, go ahead and smash that like button, give us that thumbs up, help us out with that YouTube algorithm. And as always guys, if you wanna be kept up to date with my future videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell as well. So that way YouTube will keep you up to date of all the videos I do in the future. And as always guys, I will see you the next video.